Hi, this is Dr. Prane. Uh, you have been recommended a mandibular advancement splint and I'm here to explain how it works. The problem is your airway. The airway is unstable and it collapses at night. This is a model of the airway. When the person is upright, the airway is wide open. However, when a person lays down to sleep, the mandible falls back, as does the tongue, and obstructs the airway and stops the airflow. Now, this happens when you are going into the deeper levels of sleep because your muscles are relaxed. And when the airway collapses, the brain goes ding, 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 ding. Hey, I gotta do something. What am I gonna do? Oh, I know, I'll clench. The brain causes you to clench, the muscles stiffen up, and the tongue stiffens up and drives forward like that. And that opens up the airway and relieves the problem. Go back to deep sleep, the airway collapses, the brain will cause you to clench, and you wake up again to the higher levels of sleep, and you're doing this all night long. Deep sleep comes along, and deep sleep says, muscles shut down. And your brain goes, no, I need oxygen. And so your brain will draw you out of the deep sleep all night long in order to keep your airway open. What happens? Well, you wake up in the morning and you still need more sleep. Your drive to sleep is still high. It's not been satisfied. But your brain says, hey, I gotta live today. I got stuff to do. So your brain is going to stimulate your mind in order to keep from falling asleep all day long. You know, that causes, you know, anxiety and, and uh, you know, need stimulation. What's wrong? What's wrong? Got to do something. Got to do something. I got to worry about this. Got to worry about that. And that will cause you to clench more during the day. So what's the solution? The solution is to stabilize the airway. There are three ways of doing that. One is pretty drastic. It's called orthognathic surgery. It's where they actually cut the jaw and advance it forward and that brings the tongue and everything forward. But that's really saved for people who have severe apneic, apnea problems. The other way to do it is a CPAP machine. That's that box you sleep next to with the hose and a mask over your face. Well, for people like you who are more subtle, you don't really, you may not even have apnea, which means stop breathing. You may, the airflow may continue on through this whole process. That mask on the face becomes another problem for you. It becomes something else to cause you to wake up and it doesn't really work very well. The best way, the gold standard for situations like this would be to do um, a mandibular advancement splint. And it works like this. When your airway collapses, remember your jaw falls back and your tongue falls into the airway and plugs it up. But with a mandibular advancement splint such as this, it moves the jaw forward and it holds it. So therefore the airway is stable and the air flows through there all night long. What happens? The brain doesn't need to arouse you to wake up to breathe anymore. It doesn't bring you into the higher levels of sleep. It allows you to stay in the deep sleep all night long and you get a better night rest. You wake up fully restored and best of all, you no longer have to clench. It's the clenching that's causing the TMJ symptoms and the headaches you might be having. This will all go away when the airway is stable. So that's the purpose of the mandibular advancement splint. It can only be done when the joint is stable and, uh, and I may have recommended for you to stabilize the joint first before we move into this therapy. But once we move into this therapy, it's going to actually address the cause of the problem. And the, the therapy is going to be mandibular, mandibular advancement appliance to bring your jaw forward, your tongue's attached to your jaw, and open up the airway. And that's going to be the solution for you. Thank you.